everybody and welcome to One Player Today on the Table. It's my pleasure to introduce you to Loop. This is the life of ordinary people. It's a game by Cyril Lee and Kenneth YWN. And this, as it says in the box, is a serious game. A serious game about consumerism, materialism, and happiness. If that sounds like a bit adventurous to try and fit in such a diminutive box, um, you'd be wrong. It's, it's, it's actually done pretty well. <laughs> and as you see, um, what stands out to me immediately is just this wonderful artwork. Look at this cool, it's like if you drew but didn't take your pencil off the paper and you'd all these little loopy faces and loopy activities and loopy materials. There's all sorts of loops going on. All of the artwork looks like this, which I just think is, is great. It's a really interesting and kind of cool artwork style that I, I've kind of uh, I've, I've become quite fond of. This is coming to Kickstarter on April the 2nd, so uh, the designers were nice enough to share a copy with me so I could show it to you guys um, and share my thoughts just to kind of introduce you to the game um, and kind of show you what it looks like. So take everything with a bit of a grain of salt because I think this is like a, an early copy. It's not the like full this is like a sample copy, it's not the full like release, and I think some of the rules are still kind of in process. Um, but for the most part, we've got an idea, I've got an idea of, of what this looks like. And essentially, the game, or the aim of the game, is to take your character, essentially, um, either an intern here, or one of these career um, folks, so we can become an artist, or a scientist, or a salesman, or a craftsman, or etc, etc, etc. And look, all of these have got those cool little loopy faces as well. And we're going to take them and try to get them to live a happy life. Now, that sounds quite simple, or maybe it sounds quite complicated. Uh, uh, that depends on your outlook. But essentially, we're trying to move our happiness up this track. Now, our happiness is affected by multiple things. Mostly, going to work makes us sad, and doing nice activities makes us happy. So having a picnic, for example, earns us one happiness point. Going out and having a family dinner earns us one happy point as well. And we can also achieve these goals. Now, we've got a whole stack of goal cards, and in the start of the solo mode, we're going to take four of them. And in this uh, example, I want to... This is essentially like my, my life goals, I guess. What I'm trying to do before the end of the game, and, and what will enable me to reach my peak happiness. I want to start or become part of a green community. I want to live a sustainable lifestyle, so those are quite, quite similar. I want to have a hobby, and this is any two activities with the same name. So, for example, if I had two cooking classes, I'd, I'd get the cooking hobby. Um, and I want to partake in lifelong learning. So those are four goals that I have at the start of the game, which I want to achieve. Now you'll note that they all have these little symbols on them, matching the symbols on the activity. So not only when we perform an activity do we get the happiness bonus, we also, when we place it in our activity log down here, of which we can have three, we get these two little symbols. And as soon as we have enough symbols to match what symbols are on the card, then we gain that goal. We achieve that goal. So we're always uh, at, we're always um, doing activities and fulfilling goals and making our happiness go up. The interesting thing about this game, though, is that you can't just rush out of the blocks, go and gain all the happiness, and call it good. That's what I tried to do on my first few playthroughs of this game and failed miserably because to do an activity you need materials. And to buy materials, you need to go to work. Work makes you less happy, so that's a challenge in itself, right? Can relate. Um, but, but also, once we get to our peak happiness, that is the game end trigger. Once we hit 12, the game ends. However, we then have to kind of judge ourselves on how we got there. So if we got there by buying a whole bunch of stuff and using up a whole bunch of materials, where well, our landfall is going to be massively full and overcrowded. We've 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 decimated the planet, <laughs> and we're going to lose some points. Also, if we've taken out credit card debt and we have remaining credit card debt at the end of the game, that is also going to lose us some points. So it's not about like bursting out of the blocks and trying to do everything as soon as possible. It's really about kind of biding your time. Um, kind of building, I don't know, building a, a healthy amount of resources, but not disposable resources, I guess. And then every time we pass a particular threshold of happiness, we trigger these events, which have all got interesting kind of research um, based facts on them, which if you're like me and a bit of a nerd is actually pretty cool. Um, it's like, um, it reminds me of Parks, where they give you the park facts. So these kind of give you uh, different, I don't know, like paradoxes or different misconceptions about like, 
combustion energy and, and all sorts of things. So it's a fascinating game, um, and I think ripe ripe for conversation. So it's an interesting balance of, between like trying to get the most happiness, of course, um, but also do it in a smart way or in a sensible way. And I suppose that's you know this game is it's not necessarily preachy per se, but it's definitely making trying to make a point. <laughs> so you know if you're into that, then. No, I think it could spark some pretty interesting conversations, especially in, in a multiplayer game. But I just want to kind of introduce you to the game, um, show it off for the, for the Kickstarter launch in a week, um, again, April 2nd. And then, uh, and yeah, yeah, let me know if you have any questions. So on our turn, essentially, we can take three actions, one of three actions, I should say. We can either work, get the money, we can buy, get the material, or we can consume, use our material in order to do activities. Now, we start the game with one... Um, material of two value. This means we can use two food before this is depleted and goes into our landfill. Now again, remember, the more stuff we have in the landfill at the end of the game, the more negative points we're going to score off that total of 12 happiness. So we, we want to try to not use these as much as possible. We also have these five favor cards. We have barter, recycle, acquire, resell, and share. And each of these has a special power essentially to help us Usually the most the most useful one that I found is the share card because it allows us to spend uh, material from here rather than from our, our personal landfill. So if we spend material from here, it doesn't go and count towards us at the end of the game. So this has been a very helpful card in my, in my past few playthroughs where I've actually figured out what I'm actually doing. We can start to strategize, right? We can start to see what our, what our goals are here. So we've got lots of leaves, a couple of social, a couple of books, and a couple of homes. A hobby is just if we can get lucky enough to find two of these of the same. But um, essentially, we might want to start with, say, cookery will get us halfway towards lifelong learning. So if we've got a yellow and a red, that might be a decent start. And I suppose I can do that just now. I can, I can pay two to pick up a two valued utility. I'll put it right here. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah. And so we're going to keep it with the two at the top to denote that we've got a two value. Every time we use this to spend um, on an activity, we just rotate it down to the next one. And then as soon as it's bust, as soon as it's gone, it goes into our landfill. Again, we want to try to avoid that. So I've got a two food and a two utility, and that is our turn. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Again, we only get one action per turn. Now we're going to refill whatever we... Ch if we picked one of these, we're going to refill it from the activity. If we pick one of these, we're going to refill it from the material. And then we're going to discard the top card of the material um, deck as well. So this is kind of running down like a little timer to show us um, once we hit depletion, that's the end of the game. And so there's, there's a, we've got a few rounds, but not as many as you might think. It does go by quite quickly. Now... What I'd like to do is um, is, is kind of give, get, get right into this. Um, if I buy cookery right now, if I consume cookery right now, I'll have my food down to one and my utility down to one. And I don't really want to be able to, I don't want to use these cards again. If I can help not putting stuff in the, in the landfill, then I absolutely will. Um, oh, I should have said, I start off this game as an intern. Now you can, again, you can choose your career. Um, to, to kind of start you off with different powers and different benefits, um, but I started with one util uh, one uh, one material of two value and two coins. Every time I work, I get three coins and lose one happiness. And again, that changes for each person. So, like if I'm a, if I become a lawyer, for example, I'm going to gain seven coins because lawyers make good money, but they also lose two happiness because they're stressed. I'm, I'm guessing that's the insinuation. Um, but yeah, I'm just an intern right now. Um, no special powers because you know I, I'm not I'm not ready. So, so on this turn, I'm so on this turn, I am consuming. I'm consuming this cookery. I'm going to gain one happiness and put this in my activity. And as soon as I gain this happiness, I actually cross one of these thresholds into a different zone. So I'm now on five happiness, but I pull an event card. So let's see what event we pulled. Collector, gain one happiness if you own all five types of different material. And then it gives you a nice, <laughs> it gives you a nice piece of research about collections. A study shows that around one in three Americans collect something. Yeah, well, I'm collecting for... I've got, got enough collections for all of us, so just let me know. What, what do you collect? What, do you, what is your collection? I collect pogs. I've got a lot of pogs. <laughs> but when I was a kid, I would collect anything that I could find more than one of. I would collect rocks and stamps and Hot Wheels and all sorts of things. So, yeah, this speaks to me. All right, we're going to put this in here. It's, it's a red card. This means it's like a continuous event. So, essentially, every time we have um, five 
or more, I guess probably one per turn, um, or sorry, five of different types. Uh, one per turn, we're going to gain one. So I'm going to put that there um, just so you can see it and carry on with our go. We've gained our cookery. Again, it's not enough to fulfill the entire lifelong learning, right? We need two hearts and two books, and we only have one. But that will be the end of our turn. We're going to flip the material deck and deplete it. We're going to refill the activity deck. And I think on this next turn, we're probably going to need to go to work. We don't have any money, so we can't buy any more material. And that really means that I'm kind of, I'm, I'm mostly kind of stuck. I'm mostly a bit useless. Now, I've got a house and a learning here. I've got another heart and a learning though here with glass. And I think what I might do, I need to, I mean, I need to get this. That That's the best. This is going to be the best way to do it. Um, I can I can play the share card to consume again from this from this material pile but I only would have I can only do it once so I need one more green or I need one more uh, what's that like yeah I need one more glass before before I'm able to claim it so I think I'm gonna have to go to work get some money and uh, and see what happens that means I'm going to gain three coins for the turn. And I'm going to lose a happiness. Again, I cross the threshold back. I'm going to take another event card. Combustion Energy. Player with the least happiness shuffles all non-utility material from his landfill back into the material deck. All right, well, that's fine. We don't have anything in our landfill right now, so that is, that's good. Um, that, that's okay. I can deal with that. Um, right, we are back down to four happiness. We do have some money, though, so that's good. Um, did I discard from the material deck? I think I didn't, so I'm going to do that. And then I need to, on my next turn, buy some stuff. I think I'm going to buy this at... I might buy this at value 3 and just spend... I think this is the, this is the lesson I'm learning. I used to just spend 1 and get the, get the material, and then you can immediately spend it, and then it goes into your landfill. However, if you buy a higher quality one, of course, it gets to stick around for a little bit longer, because you can use it more times. So if I buy some really high quality glass of quality 3... I can still spend two of them next turn, not have it be broken or used up or whatever whatever you want to call it, and get this glass work. So yeah, that seems pretty good. I'm gonna keep this at three, and we're gonna spend a material from the top refill material here. And on my next turn, I'm going to spend two to consume, consume this glass. <laughs> not recommended. And now we've got two hearts and two learnings, or two hearts and two books, and that gives us the goal of lifelong learning. I'm going to gain one happiness from the activity and two happiness from my goal. I'm just going to put this here to, to let me know that I've done it. One, two, three, we're up to seven happiness. And again, we've, ch we've changed into another zone, so another event card comes up, which is Make It Rain. Spend four in one turn to gain one happiness, including Acquire, Buy, and Recycle. Oh, so the more we spend the more happy we become <laughs> interesting again that this one uh, this goes on top of the kind of the other continuous event so it kind of takes over so we don't have more than one going at once we just have one always affecting our game now i'm on seven happiness i've got to refill this again i'm, I'm stony broke i don't have any money um and i'm gonna go let's see if we can um let's see if we can get one more goal before we uh before we call it a video so i've got i've already got two books and I've already got two hearts but unfortunately that doesn't apply to any of these <laughs> so that's great I also do not see any more glassworks or cookery coming up just yet so I might have to go for something well something green and social looks good um, so like this leaf might be a good these leaves might be a good shout or these so this social might be a good shout too but nothing that is exactly this which is unfortunate because I'm gonna have to like I'm gonna have to consume it, but not actually need it really. If that makes sense. So what do I have? I mean, I've got three I've got three materials with just one left, and which is not great because I don't really want to spend them. I think maybe I should. I think maybe I should go to work. So I'm gonna lose a happiness again. It doesn't trigger any other event because I'm still in this middle zone. So that's good. I mean, some of the events are actually pretty good. Like some of the events are good for you, and some of them are bad. So it just depends what how lucky you get. But now I've got three coins to spend on my next turn. Let's deplete this. And you can see this is getting down there. Like, there's not that many left. So we are 
kind of pushing it. We're not on a super high happiness, but I think we can get there. As long as we get another another one of these, we might be able to get it up there. So let's see. I'm going to do some... I think I'm going to do some buying. I'm going to buy... I think I am going to have to spend. So I lose a point for every three uh, materials that I have in my landfill at the end of the game. So I can afford to lose one point. Um, essentially, as soon as I get to this 12, again, the game is over. And if I lose, and I, and I need to win by having at least 11 happiness after all the penalties are taken into account. So if I have three and lose one point, that's that's fine, as long as I don't have any debt um, or any other penalties. So I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to risk it for the biscuit, and I'm going to consume both of these to get my home movie. I know I said I wouldn't do that, but I'm, I'm, I'm just about to. So I'm going to do that. These are going to go into my landfill, because I've used them both. I'm going to get a home movie, and this can go here on my, my activity again. I'm going to gain a happiness from that, because it's a nice nice thing to do, you know, that makes sense to me. And I'm not close, <laughs> but I'm a quarter of the way there to getting my green community um, goal completed. Let's deplete this. And on my next turn, um, oops, I'm going to replace this too. And on my next turn, I've got, ooh, this is good, a home and some dan, or a home and some social. That's great. So I need blue and green, which is Fine. I'm gonna gonna buy some blue, and I'll buy this nice plastic, and that will set me up. I think. Let's discard. Oh, I needed that green. Oh, lucky, 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 lucky. That was green. Okay, good. I'm gonna consume again then. Oh, no, I'm not. I don't want to. I want to. I want to buy. Do we take out credit card debt? That is the question. Let me show you how this works. When we take a credit card, we can apply. We get four money immediately. Four money to spend. Lovely, lovely, lovely. However, again, we always have to pay this back at the end of the turn, so we can't just go and spend all of our money and then not pay our credit card, because that would be, you know, like that's that you, you're, you're going to get your board games repossessed. But uh, that's probably the most expensive thing in my house. I don't know. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so I take four, and I have to pay at least one to it every turn. Um, and again, I can't, if I've got any debt left at the end of the game, I'm not going to win. So I need to be careful, but I, I think this is going to be, I think this is an okay idea because what I also get is one free material so at value one. So I'm going to put that here just in case I want it, but I'm also going to spend two and do buy on my turn and get glass at quality two. That means I can pay two to my credit card. I can pay a maximum of two per turn. Leaves me with one dollar left. And then I'm pretty well on my way to being able to go and learn how to dance. Well, I mean, um, in the game. That's the most unrealistic part of this game so far, is that me learning how to dance is, is even going to be this easy. No. No, friend. Let's, de let's uh, deplete this, and we will flip... Got some metal and some more metal. Some heavy, heavy metal. You guys know I love it. Let's consume, and we are pretty close. We're pretty close. I'm going to consume one of each of these. So one of my glass and one of my plastic. So swing those around until they've got one. Um, and... Oh, I think, you know what, I'm, what I should have done last turn? Because I spent four... Oh, no, I didn't. I didn't spend four. I only I paid two. Never mind. So I've, pay, I've spent these um, to get my dance classes, and I'm going to replace... Um, I'll keep glass work around, because that seems more likely than... Cook. Well, I'm not a bad... I am a pretty bad cook. I, I mostly cook all the meals in the house, but uh, that doesn't mean I'm good at it. I did learn how to dance, though, so that's good. So we've got dancing, glass work, and home movies. Not combined into one, that would be dangerous. But we've got two socials, and two... No, two socials, one house, one heart. So... We're not super close. We need some leaves. That's what we need. We need some leaves. Replenish this. There's some leaves and some hearts. No, I don't need hearts anymore. I just need leaves. Ah! Leaves and books? No. Don't need books either. What am I looking for? I just need leaves now. I need two leaves. That's really what I need. And unfortunately, this is going to be tricky because I don't have a great spread. I'm going to have to... I can cover up one of these, right? But then, unless it's either... Unless it's two leaves, then I'm going to be... I'm going to be be out of luck 
Right, we're going to deplete the material. Jeez, I'm just throwing these cards all around. Now we've got one, two, three, four. We've only got four more turns. Oh, no. Okay, I think we're going to... Well, I don't think we're going to do this. I don't think we're going to win. Let's see if I can figure this out. I need to... This gets paid off once we've paid five. So I've still got a little ways to go. I can't spend this one money without... Because I need to pay my credit card this turn. So I can't spend money this turn. I could theoretically do one of these and not have to spend money um, but it will mean I've got to work next turn um, let's see what did I say was going to be the best thing to get music, it's got a leaf on it or snorkeling, I can't buy snorkeling I can buy picnic I can get picnic, it gives us a leaf which I suppose is a start so we're going to spend two of these that means my minus one point from my recycling or my landfill is going to be met. I've already got four things in my in my landfill. So Picnic comes into my hand and it'll replace this one. And that activity is going to be replenished. I'm going to gain a happiness. So I'm up to happiness eight. You know, not far. Not pe not terrible. And I have to pay my credit card. And then we're going to deplete this material again. And we pulled another leaf, which is good. But I'm going to need some metal. So I am going to have to work this turn to get money. Three. Lose some happiness deplete this again oh my gosh we are nowhere we're nowhere close to winning look how look how not happy we are i need to buy how many have i got here one two three four okay i can afford one more so if i if i hit six i would lose two points but if i got five i only lose one so i can afford to spend this again i can also use my share so i'm going to spend this to deplete it or to break it i'm going to use my share to spend one of these metals here to pick up hike hike is going to give me a point it's also going to give me another leaf but i'm not going to be able to get green community because it's going to cover up one of my ah it's going to cover up one of my socials no all right i don't think i'm going to win one one more happiness oh we get an event let's see what that is redeem bonus may pay and choose from by area one material at quality one one material at quality one i draw more favors i don't really want to buy any more materials at quality one because I don't want them to go into my, uh, I don't want them to go into my landfill. But I don't want to pay three because I won't be able to pay my credit card. So that's a no for me. And we've got two payments to my credit card, which pays off thankfully my debt. So I won't lose too many points there. This material, however, gets depleted, and that is the end of the game. So we ended the game on happiness nine. So three away. We don't we don't get any land landfill bonuses. That's good. Or no, we get. Sorry, we do. We get one landfill penalty point, so that moves us down to eight. So we finish the game with eight happiness. An eight happiness intern who hikes, picnics, and dances. I'm just dancing up the mountain. And that's it. I said I wasn't going to play a full game, but it looks like I have. Um, I'll try to edit it down for conciseness. <laughs> but that give, hopefully, hopefully that gives you an idea of how loop works. It's a kind of fun, interesting bit of a puzzle and i think the solo mode is still kind of in in a bit of in a bit of like beta testing a bit of beta phase so i don't think it's exactly how it's going to turn out but yeah go check this out loop coming to kickstarter on april 2nd i've had a nice time with it it's a pretty cool game i would like to play it with multiple players and see how that works um because it's i could i could see that being kind of an interesting like you know, like on Game of when you play Game of Life and you like give your character a name and you give all your kids a name and then you flip the car out and they all fall over. You know that kind of thing. I could see this. I could see this being that. You know, you can really build up your own character. Um, and you know, I mean, I'm such a hippie, right? I, I'm, I'm such a hippie. I'm trying to grow pumpkins and sustainable pumpkins, and and be a painter. Like that's such a hippie, dude. You love it. And I put off my credit card. Now, I think that will be it from me. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed. Um, let me know what you think about Loop. Go check out the Kickstarter. Um, go, like, you can, I think you can go, like, get a notification when it comes live. Again, April 2nd. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, what do you think about the artwork? What do you think about the gameplay? What do you think about the mechanics? I kind of, it's an interesting, like, little e economic game, I guess you could call it. Um, but I think the the the, ba the part where it, it does get interesting is that balance, right, between, like, just going super hard and trying to win and, like, winning right and i think that's kind of a fascinating um and interesting mechanism you don't want your engine to be too good if you will <laughs> that is gonna be it for me though thank you so much for watching i do hope you've enjoyed 
And until the next time, I will see you later.